What's up guys? It's your boy Horror Hat Dog. We're back with another video. Um, today I'm doing a video that really pains me, man. Um, I've been seeing a lot of videos about Rocksteady's new game, The Suicide Squad. And I already wrote that game off once I found out that it was a live service game. I hate live service games. There's no reason that I should be able to buy a game and I can only play it if I'm connected to online, especially if it's a story game just just nonsense man and so i was originally doing an arkham series playthrough on my channel but i've lost all motivation to do that you know just the way they've sullied the name man i'm very disappointed so this video is going to be about how i feel they should have continued the series because they said the suicide squad is still in the arkham universe if you were going to do a game in the arkham universe you might as well have just made another arkham game so here's just my ideas i'm just a guy with a lot of ideas let's get into it and let me know what you guys think so the first thing i want to start this off with is i do believe that harley quinn should have been the focus um for another game in the arkham universe um the way arkham knight ended first of all i don't remember batman ever being actually officially cured of having joker's blood which to me would have been the perfect premise to continue this series of games all you would have to do is now cause him to be completely taken over by the joker's psyche and and again it, it seems like they kind of had that in the back of their mind because if you notice in the suicide squad it's about all the villains not being in, i mean all the heroes not being in the right mind um being controlled by brainiac and you know acting out uh, that would have been the perfect premise for just batman because he already has the joker's blood from arkham knight so he's still infected and we've seen in arkham knight they all become the joker if you're infected with the joker's blood so that would have been the perfect premise all you would have to do is have harley quinn starting off in jail um maybe see on a monitor that you know batman's going crazy he's terrorizing the streets da, 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 da. but she notices you know certain mannerisms and certain things he's doing is the joker and she obviously still knows that he's infected so this is her motivation to now break out of jail so maybe her first scene is her breaking out of jail. Um, and this gets me straight into the combat. The fact that they went with a fucking third person shooter makes no sense to me when you guys have already made the best combat system in gaming, period, point blank. And Harley Quinn already has a combat system fully fleshed out that you guys have that you could have just copy and pasted over. And then me personally i don't feel like there should have been other characters i don't feel like the suicide squad should have been involved if you guys really wanted to cash in on the suicide squad shit maybe add deadshot because deadshot did show up in the other games and i'll get into deadshot i feel like his combat will work perfectly all you got to do is copy and paste arkham knight's combat he fights with guns deadshot fights with guns boom but that's about as far as i think the suicide squad characters should play into another arkham installment um Harley Quinn definitely became way more mainstream since the first Suicide Squad movie dropped. Um, but I feel like it was for all the wrong reasons as well, which we'll also get into the video. So I've covered, I feel like her combat should have just been copy and pasted over. But I feel like they missed an opportunity to really flesh her out as a character. He's dead, Harley. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. Dead. Hey, Dad. One more time, and I'm getting a lobotomy. You hear me, Harley? A lobotomy! So that little bit of writing was so good it gave me chills, dog. Like, just in that moment, you can hear her in her own mind, her ultra ego arguing with her, trying to help her cope with this trauma of losing the Joker. But the Joker also inflicted a lot of trauma on her at the same time. And you hear Harleen inside trying to break her out of it because she was also a psychiatrist, which I think gets looked over a lot. And I feel like would be really cool to play as a character who is a psychiatrist with mental issues, who's fighting through all of these issues. And just look at look, just look at the atmosphere they built with her character when you go into her like detective mode kind of thing. You can see like she sees writing on the wall with different phrases saying he never gave up on us we have to save him this down the third that's heartbreaking do you understand as a writer 
as as a game developer what you could have done with that type of character development that much character structure dog so to see her just be in suicide squad cracking jokes and just shoot batman and, and and treat that as if that's her big triumph that's disappointing to me especially when her big triumph would have been to finally let harleen out and break this hold that the joker has on her because for as long as she's harley quinn she will always be under his control and i just feel like they missed a huge opportunity with that a huge opportunity with that so let me get into how i would have wrote this story i think i already said i would start her off in prison i would have her be in the chow hall whatever whatever um probably a newly built arkham asylum watching tv and on the news we see uh batman's gone crazy he's doing wild things she notices that the joker you know the joker personality is fully taken over and she sees this as an opportunity to get her boyfriend back okay so then we play as her we've already seen her combat somehow a present break happens she causes it she fights her way out of the present you've seen she has a little bit of stealth gameplay but she's not able to do silent takedowns all of her takedowns are loud she's clumsy but she's ferocious she's 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 very violent she's badass dog so playing her as her would be fucking lit like just look at her look at how she fights imagine a crazed harley who sees that the joker is still alive trying to escape these guards and she's letting them have it like this imagine a power fantasy imagine how fire that would feel and imagine how fire that would feel as as a male gamer this would this would even get male gamers to buy this being able to play as a female who is this strong both figuratively and physically like it's fire on top of that imagine her going to toe to toe with characters from the bat family because that is in my idea as well i feel like at some point i would like her to cross paths with like nightwing and you know nightwing robin all of them are trying to bring bruce back and while she's on the hunt for you know joker batman they're trying to bring their batman back and imagine oh my god just imagine writing that encounter and look at how she's it i don't know if i would make the combat exactly like this but like i said they've already done it so they've already done the building block so why throw all this away but i would love to have her fight members of the bat family um while still on that hunt for the joker and i would love at some point for her to come face to face with batman how she did in suicide squad but while it still has the joker persona and since joker no longer needs her he has what he wants he has his obsession which is batman i would love for him to finally or for for her to finally be able to get through to herself that he never gave a fuck about her and in that moment where she's face to face with him while she's trying to fight him to bring her pudding back she comes to a realization that he never gives a fuck about her and maybe she does decide to shoot him and instead you know, because the Joker is in Batman's body, he counters it, you know, throws the gun, knocks her down, and Nightwing or somebody's there to pick her up. And then in that moment, she makes this switch where, listen, man, this is, this is going to be a crazy one. This is going to be a crazy one. She becomes the next Batgirl. Now, I know I've lost a few of you there, but hear me out. Hear me out. We've already seen her combat prowess, right? She's very athletic. She can do all of these things. We've already seen Joker's involvement in paralyzing the original Batgirl. So tell me it wouldn't be such a character developing moment for Harley Quinn to not only now renounce the Joker, become Harleen Quinzel again, the psychiatrist, um, this smart woman who now dons the Batgirl outfit to take on the Joker in Batman's body. Bro, the thematicness of that, like the oh, the like the things you can do with that premise. I'm just, I'm, and I'm just giving these things out to Rocksteady, man. Like, and I had such hope that Rocksteady would do something like that. Like, I was hoping that there was gonna be some fake out in Suicide Squad where they're like, oh yeah, we were just playing, bro. We wouldn't have made no shooter. Like, this is what we planned on making, but they didn't do that. But we're not here to dwell on that. So she becomes the next Batgirl. And they have their final battle, you know, with her in the Batgirl costume. 
and she gets to a point where she knocks him down, whatever, whatever, and she has a choice to take his life. But she decides not to, locks him up in Arkham Asylum because she decides she's going to be better than the Joker. And Batman's always, you know, somewhat took it easy on her in the series because he felt bad for her. He realized she was a victim. And so then now she gets locked into this same battle with the Joker as Batgirl. And then you can continue the Arkham series from there and have her as fucking Batgirl fighting people. And let me show you the uh, idea I have for her bat suit. Now, this is one of Batgirl's suits from Gotham Knights. Um, I wanted to keep it with the red and black like Harley Quinn's original suit. But just add, you know, kind of the bat symbol to it. And it kind of does look like that one uh, bat, bat girl, bat woman movie they had or show they had on HBO Max's suit. So I feel like it would just be a very cool tribute. Um, I thought it would be a cool idea. But yeah, man, I'm just, you know what? I'm just spitballing here, man. This is just me as an Arkham fan. It was one of the first games as a kid that like really changed gaming for me, man. Really like made me love this shit. And Rocksteady quickly became one of my favorite studios because of it. And just to see what they've done to the legacy of Arkham is crazy to me. And it's like the Suicide Squad shit wouldn't bother me as much if they didn't say it exists. If they just said this was its own game separate from the Arkham universe, cool. But to say this is in the Arkham universe, it was like that was so unneeded and you, you've ruined Arkham now. Like, why would you do that? Why would you put it in the same universe? It just it just didn't make sense to me. But let me know what you guys think of that idea. Would you would you guys have preferred that over the Suicide Squad game that we got? Um, do you think the Arkham series is dead? I, I feel like and I feel like that's the most appropriate title after all of the games is Arkham Legacy. Like that should have been the real final game. It's something that that, that solidifies all of the time that we put into Arkham City, Arkham Asylum, Arkham Knight, that should have been the payoff, was Arkham Legacy. And Harley Quinn, Dawn, because again, Harley Quinn's a very popular character now. She has her own show, she's in two, three movies. Like, so it would have been the perfect time to capitalize on that, but while also fleshing her out, giving her a satisfying end in the video game form, Oh my goodness, like the, the ball was for surely dropped. It was for surely dropped. Could you imagine Harley alongside Nightwing and Robin in the next few Arkham games they do where they fight different villains? Like, come on, dog. Like, there was. And then it would give them another excuse to bring the Joker back anyway because they love to do that. It just would have been. It just probably would have been the best. And it probably. Would, maybe they couldn't get Mark Hamill again, so they didn't want to do something like that. But even if you couldn't get Mark Hamill again, I would have been cool with you guys getting like a phoned in voice actor for that and somehow i don't know i, I would have been cool with anything because again it's it's the joker inside of batman's body so you don't really need mark hamill's voice you could have did a lot of things man you could have did a lot of things r.i.p to the great kevin conroy man um thank you for making our childhood so awesome i'm probably gonna go watch the batman animated series after this man i i got to just to hear his voice one more time man but yeah, Suicide Squad was a disappointment, man, and I'm and I'm upset by the direction that the studio looks like they're taking. Um, I hope this is their last live service game. But uh, that was my idea on you know Arkham Legacy game and what Suicide Squad should have been. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I love every last one of you. If you don't hear it enough, and thank you for listening to little old me, man. I'm out. Peace. But I do it